Hey everybody, this is Snook, and welcome back to Sapphire's playthrough on The Sims. She's getting a little better, but she's still not doing really great. So I thought we would do a second part. And the first part of this is mostly her and Fred just getting to know each other and leveling up their skills while they're waiting for the baby to come. So a lot of it is cut out because it's just her painting and him typing. <laughs> it's not that, you know, riveting to watch, but they're really fun to play because with her erratic trait, I mean, she just, she likes to take her clothes off, that's for sure. And she all of a sudden will tell these like really weird stories and with monster hands and stuff. It, it's it's just a lot of fun. Really a lot of fun to play them. And they get along really good. I mean, he's... Yeah, it's, it's just... Um, makes you happy, makes you smile. And one of the things I wasn't expecting is this painting is her first masterpiece. And I was so excited. And so I just framed it and put it on the wall. And I didn't think you could do a masterpiece on that, <laughs> that uh, easel. I figured you had to have the better one to do it. So I, that was a total surprise. And then she ended up doing a second one. And I was here, I was getting him ready to go out on a date because he needs two dates with his wife. And then she went into labor and I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. So <laughs> I took him to the hospital so that they could get the birth certificate. You can still have him at home, but I really like having the birth certificates because then you can put them on the wall. And of course, it glitched out, but um, it was still neat to see. But you can see where it glitches the uh, doctor. Yeah, this part right here. And puts his hands out and then <laughs> Sammy gets thrown out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But they had a boy, and I had asked Safi what she wanted for names. I said, give me two boy names and two girl names. So the baby's name is Oscar, and that is the first in their family. So I was really excited. It was funny, though, because she gets out of the bed with her regular clothes on and then changes into our hospital gown before she goes home. I'm like, okay. So the having a baby at the hospital has a few glitches in it, um, but it was fun. It was fun to um, watch both of them take care of the baby. And I think they're both even on their parenting skills and the baby isn't even a toddler yet. So I was pretty excited about that. And here, this part was hilarious. I figured, well, the baby's birthday is the next day and I thought well we'll have a toddler and then why don't we have another baby right away and then that way they can grow up together you know so but he was really tired because he worked all day and so I had her go wake him up in bed and he didn't want to so I had her kept pestering him and then it would give me the woohoo, but it wouldn't say woohoo for baby. And I'm like, no, I want the baby one. So <laughs> I was like, okay. So we she attacked him in the hallway. <laughs> and then finally, it was try for a baby. And I, every time you try for a baby doesn't mean you're going to get one. But I can tell you right now, <laughs> Safi is very fertile. <laughs> <laughs> because and she still gets really really bad uh morning sickness actually she's got all day sickness she's 
puking in a toilet left and right. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Not in real life, but in, in The Sims, it's funny. Because <laughs> she's just like, always really sick. So then she finally let him sleep. Uh, and then, again, before the baby's birthday, it was love day. And I thought, well, okay, let's, one of the things is to go on a date. And I thought, well, that would cover his, his, um, lifelong dream and we get rid of that. Well, unfortunately I made, I called in a nanny, which is the one who, I don't know, just decided to cook mac and cheese or something. Well, because she was standing there and where they were standing, not, they were like, I don't know. It, it didn't go through. So I couldn't get to go on a date, which is why I called the nanny in the first place. <laughs> I was like, nanny, just get out of here. <laughs> just go. And then they're like, a pop-up came up. And it's like, you know, you have a nanny. You can go out. And I'm like, I, yes, I realize that, but I can't. Because the nanny's in the way. <laughs> so that was funny. So eventually they went on a date. It finally came up, which it didn't count for him. And he, and it didn't even count for his love day uh, holiday. So, and this date was like really difficult because the, trying to get them to talk talk not flirt was really hard <laughs> they didn't want to just talk they wanted to kiss and hug it because it was love day i guess and uh so that was really funny i was like well, this whole thing is not going as smoothly as i wanted <laughs> and he's so tired and he kept walking off and talking to other people and i'm like no get back here so <laughs> I was really glad when I finally got the gold again. But, oh, and you get, when you get a gold, you get a um, a bucket that has um, champagne and glasses in it. And that sells for $1,500. So, actually, going on a date is pretty lucrative um, if you don't have a lot of money. Just ask people on dates and get golds and then sell the sell your prize <laughs> so the last couple by now they would have had gold but that's the whole thing i mean this is at two times speed so just imagine it, me in real life in real time i'm like oh my god i'm never gonna get this date done <laughs> So it was really funny. And then this lady comes up and I'm like, who are you? Get the heck out of here. And she's talking away. And I'm like, oh my God, can this get any worse? <laughs> it's my husband. Go. And then she sat down and I'm like, oh lady, <laughs> you don't belong here. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're getting this date done. We're getting a gold. And you better not talk to me or him or anything because I was just bound and determined that we would get the things done. And what they had left was the talking parts, which is just was so funny. I really had a ball with this. And then she ended up the date in the bathroom puking. <laughs> was, and he was in the other bathroom. I don't know, talking to a bunch of people. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So it was so funny. So funny. So then, because I knew she was pregnant, I decided that the house really needed to be redone so that um, there was room for two babies, eventually, and a toddler, and... There was a lot of space that was not being utilized um, as, as well as it could have been. So I emptied the whole house and then so I could kind of see what was going on. And I took the one bathroom out 
and just it was more the I wanted to put in a kitchen table because with the kids you gotta have a a table to put the birthday cake on and different things and that way they could sit down at a table and I didn't want to make the house over the hundred tiles though because they still get extra benefits for having a micro a tiny house so I could have made it bigger but I really really didn't want to so the layout of the house changed a whole bunch of times until I finally got it right I when I play the sims I like to be able to not have to move it around as much and so I like to be able to look at the front of the house and just kind of see everything like the bathrooms and that kind of stuff that's why I don't like playing on a two-story house because you constantly having to go up and down to look and see what's going on um, I know some people like to play in a two-story house I just would rather have it spread out more and um, be able to just see everything at a glance and have everybody on the same floor, that kind of thing. So I was looking for wallpaper, which takes me forever. And yeah, and I really didn't like the way I had the kitchen and I really wanted to get another bathroom in there. And it was just, it was really frustrating because it was like, I know there's got to be a better way to do this without adding tiles. I mean, it would have been a lot easier. I could have just made the house a little wider and, and had a back door still and everything. So, so I gave them, the parents, a little ensuite and that worked out nice but I ended up changing that too so <laughs> so other than the parent well no that changes too right now we're in the okay what am I gonna do phase <laughs> let's try a 10 billion things and see what happens and eventually I find something that I, I kind of like and then or I give up and then I move on to the next thing <laughs> <laughs> and then work my way back around again so <laughs> that's just the way it is so again I wanted to get um, at least two bathrooms in there because with well eventually two kids and two adults you really need another you need two bathrooms um, so I was like, oh. wasn't really sure how I was going to go about doing that. And again, I still didn't like the kitchen. Having everything laid out, though, on the grass actually really helped. Plus, I found a bunch of stuff um, in, his invent in their inventory that I didn't know was in there. Like, I had three of the champagne things that they got for their gold dates so I sold two of those and that was nice because that gave me an extra couple thousand dollars by the time I got done with this I think they're down to a thousand again so they're gonna have to make some more money and he must have gotten a computer from uh, his job because I don't remember that either that um, that wasn't in there from the old house and I think I might have sold a painting that I should have but I, I I don't know I was just at this point I was trying to whittle stuff down of what I needed and what had to be placed and what didn't have to be placed if that makes any sense I just was like yeah and I didn't like the kids' room being bumped out like that. I don't know. I just, it was bothering me that they couldn't make it out to the backyard. And I didn't know if we really needed two bathrooms next to each other, too. But I, I still was very 
undecisive of how I wanted it other than like I said to keep it within that that under the hundred dollars range in the living room set up to that was with where the baby's room was and everything else it really came down to just perseverance <laughs> and moving things around which I wish you could do that in your own home that would be so nice you know get a little scale model and just move things around and and then look at it for a couple days and then just pick them up and boop 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 move it around again <laughs> That would be great. So, <laughs> but this, of course, didn't uh, stay this way either. So, yeah, I I was struggling. I was really struggling when I was doing this. Because I, I wanted it to look a certain way and have a certain easy flow to it. And nothing that I did was... was 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 hitting the mark and I was like so I'm really hoping that having something to watch and listen to for Safisera is helping her I know that when I'm not feeling really good it's just nice to you don't want to talk to anybody but also you really want to and I figure this is where it's kind of the best of both worlds that you can see something that you know that you're being thought of while I'm doing it and so you don't feel so alone because being sick like that is really hard on you um, believe me I know especially over a long period of time and you know people especially with the virus they can't come and see you and so you're kind of stuck there on your own and it's very easy to feel you know lonely but just for anybody out there um, you're not alone uh, you got people that are there for you and you just got to reach out to them and you got to tell them what you can do and what you can't, you know. You have to say, you know, can you just send me messages that I can listen to or, you know, that kind of thing. Because um, it's really hard to concentrate sometimes. But if there, you have stuff to watch, then it becomes a little easier. Because then you can do that whenever you wake up and it's... Especially when you're in bed most of the day, it's your sleep schedule that's really messed up. And you're emotional because you're sick and you've been sick for a really long time. So it all plays a part in it. And yeah, I just, but tell people how you feel and let them know and let them know what helps you because nobody can read somebody else's mind. Sometimes I wish they could, but they, they can't. So, uh, sometimes, my husband, every once in a while, he's like, I, I can't read your mind. I'm like, yeah, I know. It would be a lot easier on me if you could, though. <laughs> oh, my life would be so, well, no, it wouldn't. I'd get probably in more trouble <laughs> if he could read my mind all the time. <laughs> Actually, that would not be a good thing, now that I think about it. So, skip that. <laughs> so, here I'm trying... <laughs> Let's get back to the real. Here I'm trying to get this living room set up. but I, And a desk in there. And to be able to see when they're painting. Because if you can't see when they're painting, you don't know when they're all done. And it's kind of really a pain. So <laughs> this took forever too. It was like everything just seemed to take forever. And I really didn't like having a front yard. I really wanted a backyard. So I ended up finding the double glass doors, um, French glass doors, that, and putting them so that they have a little back patio. So I was really happy about that once I figured that out. 
that made me happy because I, I really wanted a back door. I didn't like just not having the front door for safety reasons for my Sims anyway, you know. No, I just like backyards. I grew up with a backyard with a patio and everybody should have one. Not that I have one now, but I do have a backyard. I just don't have a patio. But, and I wanted so that everything was kind of together and it was easy to get to the handy handyman table. So, yeah. And then I switched out and got a, um, oh, what do you call it? I got a um, chess board so that they could play chess at night or during the day, whatever. And so I thought that would be good activity. And then the kids, we still have to have room for all the kids stuff too. So we'll see what happens after they're toddlers. I'm sure the house will have to get made bigger because, well, they'll be bigger people too. And they probably need more room. And we'll add an office or a study or, I don't know, something. But... So this is, yeah, where I got the chess table, and then I actually put a little, so if I need money, I could always take the fence off, but it was really bugging me that I haven't been able to put down any bushes or anything in the yard, because that's like my favorite part. So I added a fence and, uh, to make me feel better. <laughs> and then I got this idea that I could put um, the stool cabinets in here in this little alcove and then I could put both the computers in there and then they would be out in the open which would be really nice and yeah so I was really happy about that once I figured that out and got some stools I'm not real thrilled with the stools that I picked but there wasn't really a there wasn't really a, a stool at that point that uh, really, you know, said, use me, use me, uh, you love me, use me. I was like, just give me a stool. And then when I look at ones without backs on them, all I can think of is how my back would hurt <laughs> if it didn't have a back <laughs> which I realized it's the Sims and their backs aren't going to hurt because they're sitting on a stool that doesn't have a back. But I'm just, just explaining <laughs> why I usually end up picking the same darn stools every time. So I really like the kitchen after I did this. And it, I added more to it and opened it up. And that's I really liked it a lot more. I felt better about the whole thing. I didn't like the sink so close to everything. Yeah. So that was, eventually, my builds, I end up loving. But I, it's just that getting there <laughs> seems to take forever. I go, like, around in circles. It's like, yeah, I just go around in circles is what it amounts to. And I couldn't find that country kitchen rug that I wanted. So I'm trying all these other ones, and I'm like, well, where the heck is that rug? I and then I finally found it. And then I was very happy about the whole thing. And I, he had a chicken coop. So I took that out of the inventory just so I don't forget about it. Because I, I will. And so once I get some more money. And we could have some chickens. And maybe make some money off of the chickens. And I'd like to start growing a little garden in that and I didn't really like the um, tub shower in their bedroom so I ended up just putting a shower in there because the tub is in the there's a tub in the other bathroom that they can bathe the kids in so we you really only need one tub so I was happy about that and then as you can see I was running out of money so I just got a couple toys. I got a tablet and um, the toys for the kids. And uh, they got a potty chair. So that will start them off. 
Oh, and I got a little blue rubber ducky, actually. So there's the end of it. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> it's not the end of it. Because I didn't, I, this is where I didn't like the, um, where the easel was. Because I couldn't see it from the front. If, if the painting was done. So I switched once again the living room around and then I turned it on to make sure that they could play and I don't know why she's waving her hand I'm not sure I don't know so but everything worked and I was pretty happy about it and I like the layout of it so that's the end of part two